Oh, man. Uh, yeah, so uh, what were you saying? I, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. It's just such a massive uh Oh, Massive there's level. another segment over here. Oh, what was this segment? This is, like, there's a glider at the end of it. I forget what's oh. here. Oh, this is where you get the glider. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Continue. No, it's okay. Let's let's go get our glider. <laughs> so, this is this is sort of a more traditional ratchet space. Like, you, you got the big walls in the background that block off other things so that we can actually do the drawing. Keep it in frame. Right. Uh, and these guys take a lot of shots. Man. And that shotgun's not good on ramps. Stop criticizing me. I'm not criticizing. I'm criticizing the shotgun. <laughs> and and Roberto by proxy, I suppose. Criticizing Roberto and the shotgun. Oh, you know, I got the... Uh, uh, speaking of speaking of the glider, which we weren't, but now we're there going to be There we go. Nice upgrade on the, uh, the blitz game. Thank you. Thank you. I do my best. Um, but, uh, uh, oh, a, a Therminator puzzle. No, I don't. I think this is just traversal. I think it's just water traversal. Nope. See, I got to get over there. What? I got to get over to the uh, the right hand side there. Don't argue with me. I'm playing the game. I know what's going on. So, uh, uh, so the yes, the glider. That reminds me of the maybe the uh, the most famous piece of fan, fan mail we ever got. If you can call it fan mail. <laughs> Let's go with hate mail. Yeah, hate mail sounds better. Yeah, Mar Mary was manning the uh, the front desk at that point, so she uh, she actually got it and forwarded it onto us. But it was uh, uh, what was it? It was um, a woman complaining that her child couldn't beat the. Uh, 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 it was one of the glider levels. It was in the snow level, the was ice it? level. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to that one. I had a uh, I had a viewer email me today actually saying he was really looking forward to that one. And when, really? I told, when I told him it was your level, he's like, oh, now I know who to blame. That's, yeah, well, when we get there, there's going to be a lot of talking about that <laughs> one. But I've found enough blame on that level over the years that I no longer feel guilt <laughs> about that level. There's but, a sense of pride over the amount of hate that I've gotten over that level. And that's, it's a snow level, and it's got a, a glider section in it. Right. And, and so, continuing with the story. And uh, this, the, the, the woman's child couldn't beat... Uh, the glider segment, and uh, so she wrote us a, just a stinging piece of hate mail that he had gotten through 19 levels of the game and was just sort of brought to a halt. And I think she said that uh, she would not be purchasing any more Insomniac games because of our callous disregard for disabled children and weak players, I think she said. Because I think she said her son had ADD. We do have a callous disregard for disabled children and weak players, to her credit. <laughs> is that is was that an official policy or I think uh, well I was my official policy. Uh oh I see. So you you were a, is, so Tony Garcia, you know, that's right. hates disabled Callous children. I think that's and the weak players. That's that's the big thing I want everybody to take away from these developer commentaries. Oh. I don't know what you just did, but that seems bad. Uh, I think I was supposed to jump over that. Uh, okay, sorry, continue. No, I, I I made my point that I hate children. <laughs> you said disabled children. I want to. Well, all that. children, disabled children, fall into the category. If anyone ever wants to freak Tony out, sneak into his apartment. No, don't tell anybody anything about how to freak me out. And put a small child in a corner somewhere. That sounds really bad. Singing Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, and he will probably lose his mind. Yeah, probably. I might punch the child. <laughs> but, in, in, you know, in your defense, the child would be kind of deserving it. Right. Well, yeah. Okay. So we're doing that. You know, I'd like to think this puzzle inspired uh, the physics puzzles in Half-Life 2. Of course. It only seems natural. Because I, I think this puzzle was in, in Half-Life 2. Uh, so, again, this level was designed by uh, Brian Algar. Uh, yes. And done by Tim Trespass. Yes, yes. I uh, I remember a, an amusing story that we may have to cut out of the podcast. Uh, I love all the things that we may have to cut out. So let's <laughs> let's go on with that one. So uh, I remember I got a, a uh, I forget who it was. Someone put in a bug in the database that said that the the waterfall effect right here looked like ass. And yes, and, I remember that. And then sent it to Brian Hastings, and uh, uh, it, you know in the in the the sub comments he said uh, you know make sure to remove the looks like ass part when you forward this on and I think Brian didn't and, 
And so uh, I remember Tim came over to, to okay, it was, it was all guy who sent it. Tim came over and, and he was just like, it looks like ass, huh? And uh, it was kind of a tense, Ooh, tense that situation. Seems- that seems awkward. Yeah, it was a tense. It was a tense situation in the design area, but uh, you know, eventually, uh, you know, everybody. All right, Mike, make this jump. Everybody was happy. I, I would t- have long jumped if I were you, but that will probably work. I was playing it safe. In in my defense, I do remember a lot of uh, user testers had problems with that jump too. Why is that jump so difficult to see? Uh, because you know we don't do any camera work because uh, we never manipulate the camera in a Ratchet and Clank game. And since it's one of the few places where you ramp up to a jump that goes down, it's just not a situation that we handle very well. Now it's time for some gliding. Oh, God. If, if you thought that me failing on the last one was bad. I remember it being particularly difficult. Oh, because God. this is another one of those highly precision uh, Twitch games that we have. That yeah, that that just the kind of thing that we didn't decide to do in later uh, Ratchet games it should be that precise. Oh god! And if I touch anything, then it just explodes. It's all over. Yeah. yeah. One touch kills really are the uh, the best thing you could possibly design. Well, it 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 is because, and you said we had a policy against weak players and disabled children. Right. Exactly. And that all that for a platinum bolt. Well, and the glider, which we and will need in order to uh, beat later levels. Wow. Okay. So all right. uh, back to crystals. So welcome to uh, welcome to the podcast. Uh, <laughs> we probably just cut out that entire bit we just did. So, uh. <laughs> but it was so quality every minute. Quality. God, and I I didn't remember to go buy new ammo. And there's a possibility for controversy as well. So I mean, that's going to be a good bit. I that's think. You, oh, you think that uh, the controversy will sell uh, more Possibly. free podcasts? Oh man, uh, I I'm going to say this again for maybe the fifth time, but I'm really glad we decided to make people stop. Uh, uh, you know, having to buy ammo like that. Uh, well, these levels are particularly rough because you go way out into the field. And if you run out of ammo when you're out there, you're kind of like, uh, well, I guess I'm screwed. And you have no method of fast traveling back to the, uh, right, the beginning. Right, except for maybe the dash boots or whatever we call them in this game. Yep. But that's not terribly fast. And especially when you're dealing with the brilliant snow beasts. <laughs> uh, it's so easy to traverse when you're dealing with those guys. I'm trying to upgrade weapons, but I just keep running into situations where, you know, uh, other weapons would be appropriate. Plus, these guys are tough. Yeah, they're really strong. Well, this I guess was... we're starting to really ramp it up there. Well, that's why we give you the uh, wrench upgrade in this level, because this was one of the first areas where we spiked the difficulty. Right? Uh, I believe so. I mean, this is where we're starting to introduce armored enemies and things like that. And things are definitely taking a lot more hits to die. Yep, yep. Uh, which we use the armor to indicate, although I think we said that in a previous episode. But if you were to just get the bouncer, then everything would die. Oh, Because would, that's wouldn't. what the bouncer does. Uh, do, you, do you remember how much any of the weapons that were still there cost? Uh, the bouncer was like 100 Okay, so it's gonna so be a while. It's, it's a big, it's a bit of a distance away. Uh, at some point, don't like beholders come out of the ground and I see. I remember the beholders mostly because I remember uh, getting that effect working with them was a huge which uh, eff- challenge for Tim. Which effect? They have uh, they shoot like lightning out of their eyes and it tracks along the ground. And uh, since this is such a hilly, ridiculous area. Tracking that lightning beam along the ground uh, wasn't easy. And you had to do that in the snow no, beast level? I didn't level? have to do that. Tim did that. Oh, okay. Yeah, man, he got... There's oh, he wow. Man, this was a tough level. Yeah, see? It's like tracking along the ground. Oh, yeah. That seems like it would be tough. Oh, originally we had... Do you remember the hover bike? Uh, yes. That you could, uh, you could actually ride it around in the desert. That's right. For a while. That's right. I remember very early prototypes of it, uh, and it was supposed to be to make this, you know, the the long traversals in this area a little easier to handle. Uh, but again, another thing we cut for time. 
Can you imagine how much of a pain in the ass that would have been to set up? I don't know if it would have made it much better, to be honest with you. Because you would have had to equip it and get on you it. You would have had stuff. to constantly dismount and remount from the bike, because there's crystals everywhere. And uh, But by the time you get far into the desert and need to come back, uh, I imagine that's probably helpful. Can you open up your map for a second? I just want to see... Okay, we seem like a fraction of what is actually in the cell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the, just you can go back, but Whoops. just uh, what, the... what happened? Oh, zero, oh. Uh, yeah, circle to play movie. Um, right, oh. so I remember when you're trying to do the skill points to get all of these, uh, all these crystals, the only tool you have available is to look at the map and see what areas you haven't explored. And uh, hoping to God you didn't miss a crystal in one of the areas that you did explore. <laughs> yeah. Making this one of the most painful skill points to try to get. And the uh, the complaint that uh, the person I talked to about your level, Tony, was that uh, there was one bolt that was impossible to get. Or no. crystal. Nope, not true. I'm telling you right now that's not true. Maybe it's not a bug you can have happen every time. No, because I remember having gotten that bug several times, and they would send me the save file, and I would load it up in the debugger every single time, and there was always a crystal that they just missed. Oh, it's every the single time. The bathtub rim is over here, so I, I just hit the edge of it. Sorry. It's all right. Uh, I think you can start hitting back, though. You got your 10. Oh, wow. I was having so much fun, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Each one of these guys drops a crystal, so make sure you pick up the crystals off the corpses of the beholders. I, I have been, yeah. And if I haven't been, then the people in the videos will probably just call me an asshole. Well, I'm sorry, a, a beep hole. A beep hole, right. Uh, I do want to try to keep this family friendly for you, Tony. It is a family friendly game. That's sort of all. That's my only concern. Lots of poop jokes for a family-friendly game. I'm, for There's a game, nothing wrong with a poop a poop joke every now and then. It's it's good old-fashioned American fun. Right, exactly. American. Uh, but you know, uh, up your arsenal. That's that's less of a pun and more of a sort yeah. of direct calling out of the anus. You know what? That was another one where uh, I'm definitely not going to tell this story because I know we can't tell this story. <laughs> Why can't we tell this story? But we got uh, another piece of hate mail that I thought was awesome. Uh, basically <laughs> saying that we were immature and horrible for coming up with these very infantile, juvenile titles. And yeah. Peter Hastings sort of was like, well, if we wanted to go with my original idea, then he would really have something to complain about. Because he had some really... Infantile, immature titles I want, in mind. I want the lava gun. I say go for the lava gun. It's a good gun. But but once it upgrades, it turns worse. Is it? Oh, so this is where it becomes a meteor gun. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were going to tell a different story about no. the uh, uh, the the woman who wrote in saying, "Oh, first it's up your arsenal, and then it's uh, or first it's going commando, then it's up your arsenal. What's next? Ratchet and Clank Five. I did your mom. Well, yeah, that was. Yeah, that's basically the story I was trying to not tell, but now Why? you told it, so it's fine. Why I don't know, you... it seems a bit crude. Uh, like level, like Slingshot Bomb in level 10 must not be your mom was not right, crude? Yeah. That was classy? Trade in, trade in those crystals before you go. There are 86 crystals remaining. Don't yeah. worry, folks, we're going to do that off camera. Or never. Never also works. Uh, so... Yeah, so where are we going next? Uh, let's see, where do we have? Um, we Dabo, got... the testing facility. Adab oh, this level. I th oh, 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 I think I know this level. This, this, is a, this is a facility note because it has a water right. plant and it's outdoors. This is going to be a fun level to talk about, I think. All right, well, we'll probably be getting to it next time. So until then, I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we'll see you next time.